Welcome back to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a David Beckham inspired haircut. And this is the inspiration picture that we're going to be going from. So we're going to start with a side part right at the center of the recession, straight back to the quarter part. From there, back to the bump between the occipital bone and the crown. I'm going to start using my uh, Osaka scissors here. Those the shorter ones. I have better control over a five and a half than I do a longer one. I'm going to take a section right at the front of the hairline that's parallel to the front hairline. We're going to cut that, leave it a little longer at the top of the section, a little shorter over the ear. And then I'm going to walk my guide all the way back to the center of the head. So as I'm starting to walk the parting, I want to keep my partings very, very consistent. And each new parting gets combed into the previously cut section. And then that previously cut section is held into the center of both sections. And you'll see that right here. I'm going to take my next parting. I'm going to separate my previously cut parting, comb those two into the center, pull that straight out, and then cut that my guide length. I want to make sure I'm going a little shorter as I go down further towards the nape and on top of the ear. So it's a little longer where that top parting is. And then I just consistently work that back to the center of the haircut, the center of the head. The important thing when I'm walking my guide is I want to keep my section size as consistent as possible. That's going to make it so much more uniform and easier when I need to go through and cross check and clean that up. Now you notice that I'm at a little bit of an angle and that's what the angle right at the front hairline is and that angle at the front hairline is parallel to the angle of the hairline directly behind the ear. So I find that when I take an angle like this as opposed to just doing it straight up and down vertical it flows better and it fits the head a little bit better. And here is our last section uh, bringing everything into the center. If you're not already please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and click the bell it really helps us out quite a bit and it's greatly appreciated. Now, After I've cut the entire length on the bottom, I'm going to go through and cross check this just to make sure everything is nice and smooth and I don't have any kind of lumpiness hanging out. And I'm not, I'm hoping that I don't end up cutting a lot of pieces of hair off. I just want to clean this up. If I have big gaps or something, I wasn't consistent with my sectioning from the front to the back. Now I'm going to go through with my longer scissor, the Tokyo scissor. This is a six inch. And I'm going to go through and scissor over comb that a little bit tighter over the ear. I can't get it as tight as I'd like using just my fingers. So going back and cleaning up just the perimeter around the hairline, I can fit that in and dial that in a little bit tighter and make the shape a little bit cleaner. So just keeping this taper standard where it's shorter around the hairline and gradually getting longer as I go up to the top of the head. After I've got that, I'm going to go through with my Tokyo thinning scissors and I'm just going to trace the entirety of the haircut so far. I just want to make sure everything is nice and soft. The picture, it wasn't a real clean kind of clipper cut taper. It was much softer and a little more lived in. So this is going to give me that texture where it's clean but not too clean and it's going to be a more lived in kind of feel. Which I think fits this haircut very well. After I've got everything like I want, then I'm going to move on to the top of the head. I'll take a section that's parallel to the previous sections that I did. And now I'm going to pull this out from the head horizontally and I'm going to visualize where I want that front hair to fall. Then I'll go through and point cut, making sure to keep those edges very nice and soft. And I want to leave it longer at the front and then gradually get shorter into where it blends in the back of the head. So I want everything to blend in the back, but the front I'm going to leave that completely disconnected so we can comb everything back and have some separation around the front. And this is just, the first section is just strictly a guess. If you haven't already, please follow us on social at Jatai Feather. So continuing that line back until everything blends into the back section and making sure my length is proper by combing it back and looking at it. 
Then I'll take a parallel section, same as before, and do exactly the same method. I'm going to pull it straight out from the head horizontally, follow my guide underneath, point cut that, keeping the edges very, very soft, and blending it into the back of the head. Now this may take a couple of tries to get the, the length that I want. So I'll cut it, check it out. If it needs to be a little shorter, I'll cut it shorter. And then I'm going to continue to follow this pattern up the head until I run out of hair in the center of the head. Continuing to point cut all the way into the back and making sure that that back blends. And then here is our last section on the right side of the head. Same thing. Point cut, making sure everything is nice and clean, getting the length that I want, and blending it in the back. Then I'll do the same thing on the other side, making sure my length is good. There we go, looking pretty good. Now from here, I want to go through and cut that corner off the top that I did. So I'll take a horizontal section, pull that to the back of the section and then cut the point off on the top. Then I'll go through and take my next section. You'll see me plant my finger right there at the back of the section, comb all the hair into it. So by going through and pulling everything to the back of the section, what it's going to do is leave it longer in the front of the section, which will ultimately leave it longer in the very front and then shorter in the back. And I'll go through and cut that point off to give it a little more squarish of a shape and so I don't have that real strong severe point on top. Check my lengths here, everything's looking good, cross check it, looks pretty good. Now we'll all a little bit more there and then we'll just go through and I want to soften the edges and soften the top. So I'll take a section on the side and then go through with my thinning scissor, hit it about halfway and then a couple of times on the end as much as I feel is needed to make sure we have a nice soft blend through there. Same thing in the center. Start in the back, hit it about two thirds of the way out, no more than halfway. Go through and continue thinning it until I get everything nice and smooth and softened and remove some of that thickness and bulk that's on top. Now I'll add a little bit of texturizing spray and then let's go through and blow it dry. I'm not real precise about it. I'm just kind of going back and forth and back and forth trying to get rid of any kind of cowlicks that don't sit right. And now I'll put a little bit of pomade on the top to get some separation to it and a little bit of a lived in dirty feel and then separate and pleat some of the hair on top to make sure it all blends. Check out Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great stuff on there. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.